students in this video we'll study about to find an angle between the polar curves let us take one example find the angle between the curves r is equal to a 1 plus cos theta and r is equal to b 1 minus cos theta the angle between the polar curves is nothing but the differences of the angles of each of the curve and the radius vector of this curve with its tangent. So the angle between angle between the polar curves is given by the modulus of phi one minus where this phi we can write it as tan of phi is equal to r d theta by dr. This we can also write it as cot of phi is equal to 1 by r dr by d theta. So this is the formula to find the angle between radius vector and tangent to any polar curve. So what we do it is we will find the angle between radius vector and tangent to the first curve and also we will find the angle between radius vector and tangent to the second curve and we will have the differences between them. To find let us take the first curve r is equal to a 1 plus cos theta. For this formula, we can note that we can either go for differentiating with respect to theta and then multiply this equation by r or else we can take log and simplify. The advantage of taking log is that we can directly get this form that is 1 by r dr by d theta. So take log on both sides. It is log of r is equal to log of a. 1 plus cos theta. Log of AB is log A plus log of B. Here it is 1 plus cos theta. Differentiate this with respect to theta. Differentiating with respect to theta. So with the differentiation, we will get the derivative of log r as 1 by r dr by d theta as we are differentiating with respect to theta. On the right hand side, we note that the log of a is a constant. So, its derivative will be 0 and here log of 1 plus cos theta, it is in composite function. So, the derivative is given by the derivative with respect to log is 1 plus cos theta and then the derivative of 1 plus cos theta. Here, the derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of cos is minus sin theta. Now that, we can write it as minus sin theta divided by 1 plus cos theta. On the left hand side, we note that it is equal to cot. Since we are finding it for the first curve, let me take that as cot of phi 1. Using sub multiple angle formula so cot of phi 1 the minus sin theta we can write it as minus 2 sin theta by 2 cos of theta by 2 and 1 plus cos is given by 2 cos square theta by 2. Here cancel that 2 as well as 1 of the cos. We are left with sin of theta by 2 and cos of theta by 2. Sin by cos is given by minus tan of theta by 2. So it is cot of phi 1 is equal to minus tan by 2 tan of theta by 2. 
try to express this in terms of the cot itself. See, here there are the four possibilities. Suppose that I get cot of phi is equal to something angle with the cot itself. Then we can cancel both the cot and we can write here phi is equal to theta. Or else, if I get cot of phi is equal to minus cot of theta on the right hand side of this function. So, this we can also write as cot of minus theta as cot of minus theta is minus cot theta. So, instead of writing minus cot theta, we can write cot of minus theta. So, here in this case, the phi becomes minus theta. If suppose that we get cot of phi is equal to tan of some angle, say theta, the tan we can write it in terms of cot as cot of phi by 2 minus theta. So, cancelling cot on both sides, it is phi is equal to phi by 2 minus theta. So, here in this case, we have minus tan theta. So, that is if suppose that cot of phi is equal to minus tan theta by 2. In this case, we can write this as cot of phi by 2 plus theta. So, cot cancels on both sides. Phi is phi by 2 plus theta. So, here we can write this as cot of phi by 2 plus theta by 2. On simplification, we get the angle phi 1 is equal to phi by 2 plus theta by 2. Keep this as equation number 1. Now, similarly, we will go for finding the phi for the second curve that is r is equal to b 1 minus cos theta. So, take log on both sides. It's log r is equal to log b 1 minus cos theta. Writing this by using the properties of log, it's log b plus log of 1 minus cos theta. Log of r on the left hand side. So, differentiate again with respect to theta. The derivative of log r is 1 by r dr by d theta and the derivative of log b is 0 plus here the derivative is derivative of log 1 by 1 minus cos theta and the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of minus cos theta, the derivative of cos is minus sign and here already we have a minus sign so it will become plus sin theta. So, it is sin of theta divided by 1 minus cos theta. And here, let me take this angle as phi. Using the submultiple angle formulas, the sin theta is sin of theta by 2 into cos of theta by 2. And 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2. The 2 get cancelled. One sign get cancelled. We have cos of theta by 2 divided by sin theta by 2 which is cos of theta by 2. So, we got cot of phi 2 is equal to cot of theta by 2. So, cot get cancels on both sides. It is phi 2 is equal to theta by 2. Keep this as equation 2. So, the angle between the curves curves is modulus of phi 1 minus phi 2 which is we see phi 1 is equal to phi by 2 plus theta by 2. It is phi by 2 plus theta by 2 
and phi 2 we have minus of theta by 2. So, it is theta by 2, theta by 2 get cancelled, it is phi by 2. So, the angle between the curves is phi by 2. The same question can be given as show that the both the curves are orthogonal. If the curves are orthogonal, we need to show that the angle between the curves is equal to phi by 6. Thanks for watching the video.